Hey guys, Silent Seal here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. The event has just ended. Hopefully you guys managed to get uh, quite a few radars for the upcoming Red Boss events while trying to clear the Kuji event. Hopefully you guys are able to claim the medal through the Kuji event as well if you manage to reach up to page 15 of the rewards list. So I need to say for myself, I was not able to because uh, I barely played the event song at the extreme level because it's just technically just too difficult and uh, it's a bit too strenuous in terms of stamina and you know, energy, mind focusing and you know, that kind of stuff. Anyways, music games are like that. Play at your own pace, enjoy it in your own way. So guys, let's dive into the gacha page and let's take a look at Mikumo's brand new episode play and see if it actually is worth your money as usual. So let's take a look at the episode play itself. Oh, we're on page two. So active skill for five seconds, 70% boost in score. So is that brand new um, six star episode play active skill. It's not the best out there, but like I say in all my videos, since seven star episode plates have come out, uh, there's no reason for you to use episode plates like this in the center position. So unless you are a brand new player and you have nothing else in your arsenal, and you might want to choose so. So anyways, life skill is what we're here for. So short duration ability, and of course, it is the brand new life skill that requires your affection levels of your divas to be maxed out to gain that 120% boost in score. Alright, so moving on to the last page, but before that, let's take a look at who else can use this episode plate because we definitely want to make use of this episode plate for maybe your other waifus who are featured here. If you're a Makina fan, Sharonon fan, or even a Basara fan, you know, your waifu and husband those can actually make use of Mikumo's episode plate to its full potential as well if their affection levels are maxed out. Moving on to the last page, ooh! So nowadays, all the 6-star episode plays being featured comes with special notes attached to it. So that's kind of a interesting thing. We definitely need to talk about maybe in the future, um, you know, which 6-star episode plays you should be focusing on to Kirafi, to fully power up, the kind of stuff. Alright, so special note comes with it. It is definitely an eye-opener here. But let's take a look at the stats to fairly see um, how it fares compared to the rest of the episode plays that have come out so far. So, 3,876 total score at its plus 25 luck value. Without the luck, it comes in at 3,626, which is exactly the same amount as Kaname. So let's take a look at this. Yeah, it's the same. So, Mikumo and Kaname, you know, considering that they technically are kind of a leader position in Valkyrie itself, it's fair to think that they have the same amount of stats. Um, Mikumo's points focuses on voice, and of course Sexo takes the second place, and of course Charm takes the harshest dive down the gutter. Center skill, unit's voice is boosted by 90% up, so it's pretty much the same thing, isn't it? Yeah, it's pretty much the same thing. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, I wonder if Freya will have an episode play like this as well, considering that she is technically like the third leader or the lead position in Valkyrie. Uh, sadly, Makina and Reina fans, our waifus will never be in the lead position unless it comes to their solo songs. So that's kind of a bummer. So is Mikumo's play actually worth your singing stones? Definitely yes. Uh, sadly to say, Kumo fans, your waifu's costume is also locked behind the gacha wall. So if you really want to attain this costume for Mikumo, you have to pull the gacha. Um, even if you have to utilize the free single pool or the discounted template pool. Of course, if you have extra singing stones or even cash in your wallet to purchase the singing stone packs, why not go for it? Your waifu has a pretty decent episode played after all. Alright, so with all of that said, let's dive into the single free pool for this day. This is the evening session. Yep, so I'm recording after the event itself, so let's do this. Let's see how the luck is for today. Oh, single Valkyrie or single free pool. That's not too bad, but it can be a bit misleading. We've, we've had days like this where we assume it was good and then it ends up horrible. <laughs> Oh, I don't see this very often. 
Yeah, that's why it's in the low single digits count. Interesting. Okay, what's next? Let's take a look. I think we have... Yeah, we have tickets that's expiring soon for the Super Dimension Gacha. So I'm gonna do a template pool right here. There we go. If we don't get good luck from here, I think it's fine. Um, oh no, there's a load bar. <laughs> so even if we do get something fantastic from here, even if we don't get Mikumo's plate, I think it's okay as long as we get costing points, which is the bare minimum. Three vouchers. Hmm. So pretty mediocre luck today. No red boxes on the first week. Ooh, two rainbow boxes straight off the bat on the second one. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, that's for the common stuff. That's costing point plates. Wow. Okay. Bit of a mixture between Frontier and Seven. A bit of Delta as well. Oh! Okay, even if we don't get the featured Kumo plate, we do get a fashionable Macross uh, swimsuit costume. So that's not too bad. Here we go, second rainbow plate. Oh! Alright, I'm pretty happy. I get I use my third waifu's episode plate, so both of them are fully evolved. Alright, so bonus plates for the bonus section, which is to improve luck. That's fine. So we did get something pretty fantastic, although the luck turns out to be pretty mediocre today, so I'm expecting maybe horrible luck today with Kumo's gacha. Single pool first, before we do the discounted plate pool. So today's episode will be technically very short. <laughs> Don't have a lot of news to report, uh, maybe except for, you know, uh, Macross Fun and uh, Macross Fun here. Um, the the Culture Mixture album actually came in first place in the Oricon charts. Um, so that's pretty fantastic. So for all of us who have supported the Macross series by buying the physical disc or maybe the digital albums as well, um, listening on Spotify, uh, good job you guys. We have boosted our favorite series to the top of charts. Uh, just wondering how long it will be there though. Hmm. Anyways, let's move on with the discounted template pool mm -hmm. any load bars yes we do ooh, ooh. a bit of staggering there could this be it well i actually pull out the most feature plate three valkyries okay so the valkyrie animation today is pretty mediocre red box on the first bling oh, no rainbows so the bare, bare minimum there we go bare minimum mat costume points more costume points, that's fantastic. Oh, is this really gonna evolve? Nope. Got it lag there for a moment. Red box, no evolution as well. Okay, a bit of Basara love. Common plates, moving on. Alright, so yeah, no evolutions. We did get two five-star episode plates from the Super Dimension Gacha, so that's good enough in my books. Costume points met. There we have the banner, which is also important, especially for free-to-play players. Uh, you don't really need to have the episode plate. Ooh. Flower girl appears. Nice. Okay, so a bit of progression, plus, like I said, five-star episode plates. Even though they are repeats, it does help out in the long run eventually. So guys, that's it for today. What do you guys think of all um, we've discussed? The culture mixture being in first place. Then of course, Mikumo's episode plate being equally strong as Kanami's recently released episode plate. What do you guys think about all of these things? And of course, the recent amount of episode plates with special notes attached to them. Is Dana preparing us for something a bit more chaotic in the future? Let me nice let let me know what you guys think <laughs> in the comments section down below as always and I'll see you guys in the next episode soon. Bye!